You're watching NBC5 Today at 5. Right now on NBC5 Today, more than 20,000 people in Ennis are waking up to a boil water notice. Schools are closed. The latest on the water distribution efforts after a massive water main break. Plus, today's the perfect day to check some items off your holiday shopping list. We have some of the best Cyber Monday deals, and we'll tell you why many retailers are already investing hundreds of millions into new shipping facilities. And a monster snowstorm dumping several feet of snow in parts of New York this morning. The diehard Bills fans who braved the brutal conditions for hours, all because of their love for Sunday night football. Good morning and thank you so much for waking up with us and starting your day with NBC5 Today at 5. I'm Sophia Beausoleil. Let's check in with meteorologist Samantha Davies for a check of our forecast as many of us are trying to get back into the routine after Thanksgiving break. I know, and you're going to have to grab the coat, especially for the little ones as they're heading back to school today. It is cold outside this Monday morning. Temperatures in both Dallas and Fort Worth are sitting in the mid and upper 30s. The winds are light, so no wind chill factor, and the skies are pretty clear across DFW. As we take a look at some details. You're watching NBC5 Today at 530. Good Monday morning and thanks for waking up and starting your day with NBC5 today at 530. I'm Sophia Beausoleil. Here's what we're working on this half hour. Residents in Ennis are waking up without water this morning. We're live where the water distributions are set to start. And holiday shopping well underway. So are the thieves. The recent crime spree that could impact the supply chain. That's ahead. And if Dallas wants money, in the World FIFA Cup? Well, they may actually need to spend some millions of dollars, the upgrades needed, if they hope to play host. As you start your Monday morning trying to get back into that routine, let's head over to Samantha Davies for a check of our forecast. It's going to be a hard one waking up. No one's on that uh, normal bedtime schedule. <laughs> I, I know. I'm going to be rough with the kids this morning, getting them out the door to school. And you're also going to tell them that they have to wear a jacket leaving the house today. I know some hate to wear the coat, but we've got temperatures that are down into the 30s area wide. We're just a little bit above freezing in Collin and Denton County. Meanwhile, Dallas and Fort Worth sitting in the mid and upper 30s. Now, as we head through the day today, it's going to stay pretty cold through the morning through nine o'clock those temperatures will be in the 